Welcome back, folks, and today we got two more from Wave 4 of the Turtles of Grayskull line. Stealth E-Man by the ninja power of Grayskull. He's got his nice little clothes on and shit in there. Foot all exposed and stuff. And then we got Stealth Ninja Leonardo kicking shell from the shadows. He's all hooded up, trying to be sneaky with some loud ass keys, but hey, it is what it is. I'm liking how they look on the front. Let's check out the back. Right here, we got some more amazing box art. Never disappoints. We're gonna start off with He-Man. He's about to get that shit in with Skeletor while Krang watches in the back. I like how they got his foot exposed in the picture, but right at the bottom it says, the power of Grey Skull purified He-Man, expelling the evil mutagen from his being. Now free from its brainwashing effects, He-Man joins forces with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to save Eternia from Skeletor and Krang's nefarious plot. He-Man is ready to get that shit in, folks. And then right there at the bottom, bottom, it says, put Sword of Power into Shroud. And that's pretty much it for this side. Definitely curious to open up that one, but let's move on to Leonardo. Looking at his box art, him and He-Man about to try to beat the fuck up Bebop and Rocksteady. But they got a gun in their head, I don't know. We're gonna see. But right at the bottom it says, Leonardo knows the way of the ninja like the back of his shell. So when He-Man needed a plan to sneak into Snake Mountain, he knew the best plan of attack. Remain unseen, fight from the shadows, and attack the enemy where they least expect it. Leonardo's always down for the smoke, and they're gonna get that shit in together. Right at the bottom, bottom it says, place shroud overhead, and that's it for the back of the box art. Let's get into the mini comic, He-Man in a Half Shell. So to make a long story short, there's a lot of shit going on in this mini comic. So it starts off with Hordak and the Shredder talking shit on Skeletor cause his ass dropped the ball and messed up with the whole mutated He-Man situation and let his ass get away. So the Shredder ends up sending Leatherhead to go find mutated He-Man. And while that's going on, Skeletor and Krang gather up all the mutated bad guys to go break into Castle Grayskull to get all the power for themselves. But that works out perfectly for Hordak and Shredder because they want to sneak into Castle Grayskull because they teaming up together to get the power for themselves. So Leatherhead brings back mutated He-Man. So the Shredder tells them to go take him down to the pit so they can ooze him up some more and send him back over there to Krang. But then all of a sudden we find out that all that shit was a trick and He-Man snuck his ass in there with the Shroud of Shape shifted to go save his crew and shit and turn them back to normal with the Sword of Power. So while he does that, come to find out, Leatherhead wasn't even Leatherhead, that was Leonardo, and he ends up kicking the shit out of the Shredder, knocks his ass down, and then Ram Man does what he does best, rams right into Too Bad and Bebop and Rocksteady, knocks over the whole slime pit, they end up getting fucked up. So on the other side of Eternia, you got Krang and Skeletor, but then all of a sudden you got April O'Neil causing a distraction, trying to give an interview and shit to Skeletor. You know he can't help but run his goddamn mouth. So she ends up distracting his ass two hours to give Splinter and the Sorceress time to do what they gotta do. But then all of a sudden, He-Man, Leo, and the rest of the good guys pop in to help everybody else while they getting that shit in with the mutated two-bop steady. So Skeletor sees this shit and ends up ordering all the bad guys to go fuck up He-Man and his crew. But come to find out, Krang had all their ass under his control. It was his ooze, so they his minions. The Skeletor was sorting his shit. So right when the good guys thought they was outnumbered, they wasn't. Because the rest of the good guys came in to go beat Krang's legs in before he gets to the castle. And then you got two Bob Steady about to choke the life out of Ram Man and Raphael. But luckily, Casey Jones and Man at Arms woolly whopped the shit out their ass. And then you got somebody firing the cannons right there, Krang. So the Turtles try to rush up to the top of the castle to see who saved the day. But come to find out, it was Hordak and the Shredder that teamed up trying to get all the power to themselves. They end up taking out the turtles, knocking them off the top of the castle, and then end up turning all them into bad guys. But then the splinter ended up using his power and turned everybody back, saved the goddamn day. And then that was it. Everything worked out, and the turtles start planning out how they gonna go home and get some meat. What did I tell y'all folks, there was a lot of shit going on in that mini comic. That shit showed plenty of pictures of what's coming in the next waves of this line. But now it's time to check out the inside of this shit. Right there, we got all the removable parts. Starting off with He-Man, and look what they did with that fucking face. Oh, they added the crazy eyes in there, I love it. And then right there, we got Leonardo, looking nice and strong. But now it's time to check out the figures. Stealth Leonardo and Stealth He-Man. We're going to start off with Stealth Leonardo. Right off the bat, I'm loving that face. But let's take a look at this bottom skirt thing he's got going on. I don't know, but I think he's going to make some noise if his ass tries to be sneaky and shit. 
with all them keys and shit like that. Like this man's a janitor and shit. I liked how they doubled up his arm pads this time, changed the color up. I'm liking that repaint of the Casey Jones vest right there on his ass. Moving our way up, he got the shroud of shape shifted over his head. But that fucking face, ooh, I like that expression. I like this face way better than the first release. We'll do some comparisons in a minute. And then he's got that shoulder covering right there. Hooked up right with the shroud. Uh, it's okay. But right here with the shroud off, I like the way that looks. We get a better look at that face. A better look at that. Go ahead and try my motherfucking expression on his face. I like it. That's a Leonardo. That'll fuck you up. Putting the shroud back on. Is it for him? Oh, oh shit. Let's start off with this He-Man right here. One of my favorite things on this figure is his toes hanging out and shit right there. Oh, I love it. I'm glad they continued that from the Mutagen version because if he's going to change back, he's still got a hole in his shit. Right above that, we got new shin guards, and I like the way that looks. And then right above that, we got the same belt that was on the Leonardo first release, but changed in silver. They gave him one of them arm pads right there. Same one that Leo got. Nice and silver. I'm loving the way that looks. And then right there, oh my goodness, we got the fucking Bane mask and shit. Y'all see that shit right there with them eyes? Oh shit. I personally love the way that looks. They finally gave his ass some white in his eyes. This is how I'm dead ass serious. I'm gonna kill your ass. You gonna get it. You gonna fuck with me. I'm gonna take your life. That's the expression that I'm seeing in those eyes right there. Everybody might not be a fan of that shit, but I love that shit, folks. Then to top it off, they gave him a nice shoulder pad, brand new. Loving the way that looks, but taking off that hood right there. You got a better look at that Bane mask. I wonder if his ass talks different when he got that mask on. Kind of looks silly going over his hair like that, but they had to put it on somehow. Let's take a further look. Look at that fucking face right there. I like that shit. But there's plenty of others out there that I know that don't. I remember Retro Toy Escapades was very vocal about that shit a couple months back. Take off that face plate that's on him. What you get is this face sculpt, all right? And I gotta tell you, okay, this is one freaking ugly looking face sculpt. What is up with this sculpt, all right? This is bullshit. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, I got these photos from Mr. Home Arcade, and I have a few things to say. Okay, much respect to my good friend, Mr. Home Arcade, but seriously, what the hell? This face is absolutely atrocious. I don't understand what is going on with this face. I don't understand, Mattel, how difficult, how difficult is it to make a He-Man face? I mean, yes, it's not easy I know that a lot of companies have tried and failed miserably, but somehow, you know, Mondo finally got it right. And you, the creators of this amazing property, what the hell? How is it you're screwing this up so badly? This doesn't make any sense. First, the original version of He-Man, there's no white in his eyes. Then you create a half decent version of He-Man and he looks okay. And now you go all the way back and add white to his eyes. I am so confused. Seriously, don't fix it if it ain't broken. Just go back. Just go back. That face cup is just total BS. Man, y'all better come up with that shit right there. That face is hot. I ain't gonna hold you. I always thought the original He-Man face kinda looked funny. Not having no white in the eyes at all. He's always just squinting and shit. So I'm happy with this one. Let's take a look at the back of the body. Let's check out Leonardo first, starting off at the bottom right there. I'm glad they continued to color in the leg wraps right there with his signature blue. It looks good. Working our way up the body, you see a better look at them arm guards right there, followed by his shell shield that I'm not really a fan of. I've gotten to that with that other review. Then you got that fur and shit that I am so glad that shit can come off the body. That's how I want to see my Leonardo, just like that. Then you can see they changed the direction with his bandana so he could better fit this whole setup that he's got going on. So I'm glad they mixed it up. That bandana's long as shit. And then right there with that ugly ass fur back on, it's time to move over to He-Man with his big ass poncho, but right there on the back, you can see how that leg guard goes on. Followed by his arm guard looking good. Then they got the nice spot right there for the sword and that poncho he got going on. Big ass hoodie and shit. That shit looks crazy. Right there with the hoodie off, you can see that nice flowing blonde hair that He-Man got. And then you see that other shoulder pad right there, looking nice. Right there you can see the sword 
right there in the poncho. And the shift goes in good. I like the way it fits. Stays in there nice and strong. No complaints. Same thing with his double katana right there. Man, I wish they would have gave him that. Instead of that big ass sword. But hey, now we got two different weapons for Leonardo. But that different color scheme right there looks good. Definitely not disappointed with the back of both of these figures. But now it's time to show y'all some other shit right here. I want to put his two katanas in his hand. That Leonardo with that face scope looks badass. I love that shit. So glad, like I said, we got katanas in silver compared to them just giving us one whole standard color. Just like that shit right there. Those are the other two katanas in the Motu line. And then right here, both of them stripped down as much as I want to strip them down too. That's all the accessories that comes with Leonardo. And then right there, I like that. That's good right there. Very basic. Same thing with He-Man. Basic as He-Man, but all his shit that came off the body. It's a lot of shit, right? But right here, I want to show you his poncho next to Skeletor's. Y'all see that shit right there? This different color swap. And then right there, that new shoulder pad. I'm loving that. All in all, definitely satisfied with all the shit. Especially that fucking mask right there. That Bane mask. I'm going to put that on other people. But right there, I just wanted to show you. Same shit that Casey Jones got on. And then him compared to the first release of Leo. Look at that fucking face. Now... I know they had to give us something to start off with. I wish it would have been that shit right there. That face, oh my God. That's a good ass face. That one is a little bit more cheesy to me. You know what I'm saying? They had to give him a little half smile and shit. But other than that, same color body, same color everything. The chest looks maybe a slight shade darker. That's about it. I'm loving what we got. And then right here, I wanted to put that head on the first release body. As you can see, it don't work out too right. He's got his pippy long stocking, bandana going from the left to the right. It don't fit quite right. And then right there, I put the other head on the other body just so you can see how it looks. It's okay. And then right here, I want to put them beautiful wings on the back of that vest just to see if it would fit like it does on the other one. And it's just a tiny bit looser. And then right there, I just want to show you, I added the little black dots for his nostrils that really makes the face pop even more. Thinking about just going all out and putting all the extra details on the face. Then that's the blast effect from Mouse Shaw. I just wanted to show you that that shit does work in his blaster. If you want to switch shit up, it works. Right there, showing it from the back. You can see the holes since they're lower on the body. It doesn't look quite as right. And the same thing with that ugly ass shell on Hordak's body. That'll never happen again. The holes are too high. I don't like it right there with the He-Mans next to each other. I just wanted to show you why he looks the way he does. That's your standard He-Man. Then his ass got walked out. You know what I'm saying? Chewed up. And then right there, he came off the drugs. You know what I mean? And wore out his body. He stressed the fuck out about it. My man is going through it. And them eyes show it. Perfect representation of that. Loving that face. Part of me is thinking about making that my permanent He-Man face. Shit, I don't know. But right here, putting them two uncomfortably close next to each other, I just want you to see just the difference right there in the eyes. You know what I mean? It's really growing on me that that is looking normal. You know what I'm saying? The white in his eyes makes a big difference. Gives him more of a soul. You know what I mean? Let me show you something real quick. I'm going to put up all the He-Man faces or a nice amount of them just so y'all can see the difference in all these He-Man faces. You'll see that shit. He don't got no soul. Ain't no soul in these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You don't see no white in the eyes. This looks crazy. And I like crazy. But ain't nothing wrong mixing up. Even with them faces. He's scared out of his mind. Ain't no white in the eyes. That's the He-Man face. That's a nice He-Man face right there on the Thunder Punch He-Man. And then working their way down to faces with white in the eyes. Looks all right right there. He's got a little bit more life in him. Same thing with that one right there. He's got a whole lot of life. That's too Disney for me. Right there. And standing on business. Same thing with that one. Looking good. The eyebrows are sharp. Whiten them eyes. And then right there. That's the newest one. My man is looking nice. I know sometimes change is hard, folks. But that shit looks good. Right here, I wanted to show you the difference in color between the wrist guards and the belt. And right there on the new figure, it's got a little bit more of a shininess to it. I might have to switch that shit up on mine. And then right there. Ha, ha, ha. Y'all see that shit? 
That's what that shit reminds me of. He's got the foot out. He's got the eyes just all walked out looking, look like he's high off his mind. He's got that big ass poncho. You turn that bitch around. You got your ass homeless He-Man. That's why he's got that side. He will fight for food. He will eat good because he's going to fuck you up. He's got his liquor in his head. I like that shit. I'm going to use this shit, as promised, in one of my fucking commercials or in the stories. It's coming. But all in all, folks, these two figures, I like them. I like them because it comes with a whole bunch of extra accessories, especially that nice-ass He-Man face. You know what I'm saying? It's different. And then this Leonardo, upgraded Leonardo, with a better head sculpt. Then he's got his two signature weapons with him. And that stealth keys, you know what I'm saying? He's going to make a lot of noise. He's going to get his ass caught. Like I said in previous videos, I wasn't down for this line at first, but the shit is definitely growing on me. They keep on giving us all these extra pieces for customization purposes, which I love. And then let's keep it real, folks. Mattel is doing good with all their TMNT versions of these figures. They're knocking them out the park. And we still got so many more coming up. I cannot wait to get them. I'm still waiting on April O'Neil for this wave, but for the ones that I got, I'm glad I got them first. That's what I wanted to begin with. I still got plenty more videos coming, folks. I'm on a roll this week, and I'm going to keep it up. Thanks for watching, folks. And if you like what you saw, do my ass a favor and drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It ain't going to hurt you, is it? Come on now. Go ahead and hit the button. I know you have to hit the button. Hit that goddamn button. Drop a like. All right, I'm out of here.